decisions then start to get harder and harder, even though the decision itself isn't necessarily any more difficult than any other decision, but because you've second guessed yourself so many times, it becomes extremely stressful, really. I mean, you, you give yourself anxiety just thinking of, you know, do I wear the black shirt or the blue shirt today? You know, it, it shit doesn't matter. Just pick one. It doesn't. And if you look back on other decisions, like as long as you go into things like confidently, like no matter what happens, this is the right one. I know it is like I kind of weigh, you know, I've weighed the pros and cons and you make it from a place of confidence, like don't even doubt yourself, then you're not going to doubt what you did because you did it from the right place at the time. Things always change things don't work out, things never work out like you thought they would. But if you trust that the path that you're on and that you always try to move forward, I think whatever decision you make is, is the right decision. Like the wrong decision is just the one that you never made and you sat there forever and then you start to regret that you never did anything that you really wanted to do. That is, that, like, that is the only wrong decision ever is the one that you never made. Yeah. Rem remember that, like no matter what decision you make on things, as long as you make a decision, mm -hmm. it's the right one. Yeah. Because there's also, there's no way of knowing that even if you made, you know, instead of choosing B, you went with A, it, there's no way of knowing that if you chose the other one, the outcome wouldn't have been worse. <laughs> yeah, thinking about and trying to like, in your mind, figure out what could have happened or what, like it's such a waste of time.